Hello, and welcome back to the YouTube channel for the Renaissance English History Podcast. If you are new here, my friends, welcome. I've been podcasting on Tudor England since 2009, and this is the spot where I post extra episodes and silly and funny things that don't always make it into episodes, and sometimes things that are maybe a little bit outside the Tudor sphere. And hey, thank you for taking time out of your day to learn something new or think about something you already know in a different sort of way. Life is busy, life is crazy, life is hectic, and you took time out to learn today. So well done you. In this video, we're going to explore some of the stories of Henry VIII's suspected mistresses, including Jane Popkincourt, Elizabeth Carew, Mad Shelton, and a couple of others. We're not going to talk about Bessie Blunt, though, because I have a whole episode, which was an interview with James Bolton on Bessie Blunt, and I will link to that in the comments below. You might have already seen it. It's one of my more popular videos. So we're going to talk about some of the other lesser known mistresses. Before I get started, though, I want to remind you that the Indiegogo to fund the 2024 Tudor Planner is on right now. This is the 2023 one. Every year I publish one of these. It's like a it's like a calendar, but if there's like a Venn diagram of people who love the tutors and people who love planners. And where that intersects is the tutor planner. So there's an Indiegogo crowdfunder on right now. You can come on and support the planner and get a planner for a really inexpensive price. And there's also super awesome perks like, for example, free tutor con tickets. Awesome. Tutor con is September 8th through 10th this year in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Hope to see you there. Check out the Indiegogo to learn more. So now let's get into the mistresses. Our first one, Jane Poppincourt. She was a noblewoman. She came to the English court as a lady in waiting to Elizabeth of York. That was Henry VIII's mother. So there's no concrete evidence that Jane and young Henry had a, had a relationship, but she was very, very close to the royal family. She was later banished from court under mysterious circumstances. And that, of course, has led historians to speculate that there may have been more to the relationship than meets the eye. Interestingly, Jane Poppincourt was also very highly educated. She was known for her wit, which, of course, as we know, Henry was attracted to women like that. Later with Anne Boleyn, the people that the women that he was attracted to always had, you know, wit and intellect and could hold great conversations. And Jane was known for that. So, um, you know, who knows? That's one of the ones that has gone down in history as a potential Henry mistress. Next one up, also shrouded in some mystery. One thing about Henry, he was very discreet with his mistresses. You know, we only know for sure about one, Bessie Blunt. The others, there's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of speculation. We're not quite sure. Um, he, he kept things really on the down low. And partially that's because he often chose married women because it was safer if the woman got pregnant. It could be, you know, explained easier. Um, so a lot of the conversations around Henry's mistresses, we, we don't know because they are so mysterious. So another one is Elizabeth Carew. She was a lady of the court. She was married to... Henry VIII's very close friend, Nicholas Carew. It's believed that Henry and Elizabeth began their affair sometime around 1515. Some historians even suggest that Henry might be the father of Elizabeth's son, Francis Carew. There isn't, again, definitive proof of their romantic involvement, but there was, of course, a close friendship between Henry and Sir Nicholas, combined with rumors that were circulating at the time, and that has fueled suspicions about the true nature of their relationship. Next one, Mary Boleyn. This one we know a little bit more about just because of what later happened with Anne. There's the quote when Henry, they said that Henry had been involved with both Anne's mother and sister, and he said not the mother. So from that, we can infer that there was the sister. Um, so, um, so this one's a lot more certain. But there also is some mystery around whether or not he fathered her children. So Mary is the older sister of the ill-fated Anne Boleyn. She was married to Sir William Carey, who was a prominent courtier, but it's widely believed that she and Henry VIII had an affair for several years. She had two children, Catherine and Henry Carey, who were born during this period, and rumors have persisted that they were fathered by the king himself. Though the extent of their relationship is still debated by historians, it's clear that Mary played a significant role in Henry's life before Anne captured his heart. 
Another one is Anne Stafford. She was the Countess of Huntington. She was the wife of George Hastings, the Earl of Huntington, and the sister of the Duke of Buckingham. Rumors of an affair between Anne Stafford and Henry VIII began to circulate around 1510, which caused a scandal at court. Of course, Henry had just gotten married to Catherine of Aragon in 1509. So we're just a year, a year and a half into it. And there's already these rumors circulating about the relationship with Anne Stafford. So the king's close friend, Charles Brandon, even accused Anne's brother of being complicit in the affair. While the exact nature of the relationship remains a mystery, the scandal surrounding Anne Stafford certainly has added to the intrigue of Henry VIII's love life. Last, certainly not least, is Mad Shelton. We see this in the Tudors, right? Um, she was one of the lesser known mistresses, but she was a cousin of Anne Boleyn. And it's believed that their affair began around 1535, while Anne was still married to the king. Some people think that Anne pushed Henry towards Madge to keep Henry's affections, at least within the family, as it were. Like she wanted to make sure that if, if Henry was going to stray, he strayed with somebody who was loyal to Anne. So she kind of pushed him in that direction. I don't know. Madge's tenure as Henry's mistress was relatively short-lived, but her closeness to Anne Boleyn, her prominent position at court makes this whole thing quite intriguing and, you know, quite scandalous as well. So there you have it, a glimpse into the lives of some of Henry VIII's lesser known mistresses and the intriguing stories behind their relationships with the king. So of course, much of this is as always going to be shrouded in mystery. These women undoubtedly played a significant role in Henry's life. So which ones did I miss? What would you add? Who's one that I missed that you would like to hear more about? Let me know in the comments and maybe I'll include it in a future video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And you can check out the Renaissance English History Podcast right here on YouTube for deeper dives into all things related to 16th century England. My lovely history friends, go have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.